Ah, what's good, YouTube? Y'all ought to know it's your boy. Them boys crazy. Y'all ought to know it's your boy. Roll to ride with this motherfucker, man. I already know what's going on, man. I know it's your boy, Cam Official. Anytime you see our face, you know it's time for another reaction, man. Man, this one heard it, uh. My bad, y'all. This one here is the victim of Casanet. I seen, um. Uh, who was it? I, I think it was. Like, it was somebody that did this video. And they was on the thumbnail, made it like it was crazy. So I want to read this, see what this right here about. So we finna go hop straight into this jump right here, y'all. The victim of Casanet. I can't wait till people start making videos about it. How did them boys crazy become a group? You hear me? They need some help. an ad comes with highs and lows. <laughs> the world of streaming offers unprecedented opportunities for fame, connection, and financial gain. But it's a double-edged sword. Alongside a devotion of fans and the joy of creating content, there's a darker side. A realm where jealousy, conflicts, and the weight of expectations can turn some into unaware targets of their success. Today, we're going to go through the beefs in which Kai Sinat mm, was involved okay, in. Yeah. Almost everyone suffered big from dealing with Kai in one form or another, starting with Pretty Boy Fredo. First, we're not going to call him this Pretty Boy. I think this is one of the crazy beefs. They really do not like each other. Real talk. Because who the hell I look like saying that? Exactly. Fredo, known off screen as Alfredo Villa, is a popular OG YouTuber and content creator known for his gaming videos, particularly on NBA 2K and uh, pranks. But what viewers didn't know was that Fredo faked almost all of the pranks and social experiment videos, like this catching a predator video he deleted. But if we copy the link and go to this website and paste it, boom, the video is archived. I promise this all ties back to Kaisenet. This predator video was fake, but this was during a time where this niche of Man, I remember they like it yesterday. Then he had two of these. Yeah, they said this was fake. Ain't deleted this junk. Just experiment videos was at an all-time high. So many YouTubers did this without viewers knowing if this was true. But Fredo is originally from the NBA 2K community, so seeing this sudden jump to primarily 2K content to this. <laughs> Raised heads in the community, like Agent Zero Zero calling out Fredo for faking his videos. So what does this have to do with Kai Sinet? Well, Agent is a part of the AMP, a content creating group that features Kai and Duke, and obviously their friends. So when Agent- But how long has AMP been out? But in my address, Lola and he still, he's still thick as hell. Mm -hmm. A content creating group that features Kai and Duke and obviously their friends. So when Agent critiqued Fredo for faking videos in 2020, Fredo in summary responded and told his fan base SSH that Agent threatened his daughter and more. I'm gonna tell you guys the worst part about it all. This kid had his fans spamming me on Twitter death threats to my daughter. To my child. An innocent being. How disgusting and a pig you are. You do not deserve a channel. You are canceled. And what kind of human being would do such a thing? And he made this a big focus throughout the entirety of his video that I said that about his daughter. When in reality, not only have I not said that, but I have said nothing to inspire any of the people that watch me to say that. Now the Twitter account in question that he's referencing here is deleted. I was curious who this guy was that I was getting blamed for. No affiliation here. So I went through the archives and the only interaction between me and him in the month his Twitter account was even active was being called Cap on July 19th about a tweet I made. I don't even know what tweet that is. But there is five instances here. Boom, 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 boom of him joining your giveaways, Fredo. So who knows what this guy's motivation was for saying those disgusting things, but to argue that it was me, even though there was no evidence I ever inspired anyone to go to your channel and say anything is crazy. You could just as equally have guessed that he was pissed he didn't win one of your giveaways. But regardless of the reason why this individual did this, to sit there and make it a main point of your video and to look here and make it the only comment in your video, you're clearly trying to manipulate. Because what reason would I have to do something that low and disgusting? Zero. Have I ever done that in the past? No. But the f***ed up part is, is now there's going to be hundreds of thousands of people that watch his video. It's not going to watch my video. That's going to think I said those things. It then led to Fredo telling his SSH goons to flood agents deleted Instagram posts where SSH took over with 10k comments spamming Glizzy Gladiator. Agent never got 10k comments on an Instagram post ever. That was the only time he's gotten that with the Fredo goon base taking over his comment section. This was a- Now that white third career deal. Knock a person off. I'm being real. That's why I thought I could read it. Like, I'm done with these YouTube stuff. I'm done. Because I'm being real. Some people get one or two hate comments. Be like, oh, 
what, what, what happened? So this why I heard 10,000 comments of people doing Burn. it? Shh. I'm afraid his fan base was deep. So it's no wonder Agent decided to delete or archive that post. This moment along with Fredo throwing subtle shots at AMP during the later years all led to Kai and Phantom dissing him in the AMP Cypher video in July of 2022. <laughs> Initially didn't respond until Kai became bigger on Twitch, and he smartly or desperately, however you want to put it, came with a response track of his own. How you a like I hated you, this my nature. would slowly die down as Fredo would slowly become irrelevant with time due to not posting as much on YouTube and recently getting exposed for other things. But that was one of many beefs that Kai was in as the next one was- This shit did back of Fredo, man. That was one of my favorite YouTube dogs. Man, man, man. The rapper from Memphis, Tennessee. Glorilla emerged in the rap scene in 2022 with her hit single, FNF. Since then, she has soared, securing a Grammy nomination and proudly representing Memphis with her unapologetic Southern style. But during this run, she also formed a friendship with Kai, and the recent Instagram live sessions showcased their mutual affection for each other. You got a f***ing up! No. You are. Stop! You make me blush, Floyd. Blush, man. Don't you make me blush, Floyd. <laughs> you ever been to New York or not? Yeah. I gotta show you around it. Like I got, I know all like nice school spots. You feel me? Hold on, it's getting hot in here. I like how you did that. You fucking with it. Well, that moment quickly went left because in September 2023, Gorilla released Cha 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 featuring Five Year Foreign. Despite it having a million views on YouTube, mm, that song was crazy. Yeah, that song was terrible. I'm sorry, bro. You say Cha Cha Cha. Yeah. Cha Cha Cha. Yeah, yeah, that was. <laughs> Tyson had voiced negative opinions about the song during a live stream. No, 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 no. Come on, Glow, Glow, Glow. Glow! I love Glow, bro. I love Glow, but no! Don't come on my lab asking me about no better than I done block. You talking about? They blocked and they stay there. You made your bed, you gotta lay there. Wait! Bro, Glow, please. <gasps> who's a hip-hop insider, is that Kai unknowingly or knowingly is the make or break decision for the music label that signs the artist. The majority of what labels send me these days is Kai. Their artist drops a song, they only want me to post what Kai said about or how Kai turned up to the song. So knowing that, and I mean Kai talked, like, and Kai, and Kai told me, he was honest with me, say, oh, I, yo, they're offering me wild amount of money to even just do reactions, but he's like, I don't take it. And I do think that's dope on, on, on Kai's part, but there's a lot of pressure on him because now all of these rappers, their entire marketing is hoping Kai said that. That's crazy, girl. Hey, what you say out camera? That's, yeah. Real talk, bro. I knew you it, said bro. it. You said this too. Before we even see this video, this literally, literally what you what he saying is literally what you said. That's crazy. 
reacts to their song favorably. And if he does, they all run with it. Yo, let everybody know that Kai turned up to the song or turned up to the album or likes this or likes that. That's a heavy shoulder to, to like, because now if you don't like something, that one artist that you don't like after he's seen or she's seen that you like five other songs or five other people's stuff, they're going to be like, yo, you hate on me. So oh, what would you do in that position? Would you do the same thing as Kai? Like, being that you... You at this stature, even though they gonna pay you crazy amount of money, but it's like, let's be real, if you cut every song likable, then it's like your credibility gonna kinda go down some. Mm -hmm. But if you say you did like a certain I song, you gotta keep it real, bro. At the end of the day, I'm just being real. He's giving his honest opinion. Y'all looking for his honest opinion. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm giving my honest opinion, bro. You gonna get that cash? Yeah, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna get that can too on me. Just, I would just have to be real, bro, because I feel like, bro, I'm just being real. If, if you see, can't take an honest opinion, but I understand some artists yeah. feel some type of way because they feel like that this gonna happen, like, glow really, they gonna get out of this life. I'm mean, just being real, it's life. But then at the same time, you can shit, really know that shit. Like, bro, I'm like, just being real. Like, bro, everybody's not gonna like. But see, you know, people gonna always be like, oh, you hate, you know, they gonna buy you. You you said this about this person only because of this, or you mentioned like, this a female, no, bro, I'm only because this. Give my honest yeah, opinion, dog, bro. Cause I'm just being real. Kai, Kai don't, he didn't say nothing wrong about it. He even said, "I love you, Glow. I love you." You just saying this one it. But this shit just one it, gang. And I mess with Glow, and that shit one it. One it, bro. You know we from them. Next one, let's get to some honorable mentions. Honorable mention number one, Aiden Ross. This one didn't make it because one, he's a part of the next topic, and two, it wasn't really a beef between Kai and Aiden. It was just weird. Bruce signed to kick on May 2023, Kai congratulated him, but later only to be met with trolling by Bruce and Aiden on Twitter. I won't say too much because that's coming up later in the video, so stay tuned. Then we have Blueface and Krishan Rock. Mm -hmm. In November 2023, Blueface said he doesn't like him because of how Kai's fan base hates on him. It probably wouldn't happen if Krishan Rock didn't make a hole in Kai's room. That was crazy. Oh, man, oh, man, you put a hole in my wall. You rich. You can fix it. God, you just put a hole in my wall. <laughs> to this day, they still no, I'm being, I'm wild. This is wild. <laughs> PD. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna just let the picture speak for itself. This beef is one of the craziest things to witness in live action. Bruce dropped him off, yeah, the fellow the live streamer, who is a guy who can only be described as an outspoken, carefree guy, at least online. In my video here, I described him as a Kanye, and if you know Kanye, you know that he is one unpredictable person. But Nick, <laughs> you know what you are. You thought you were finna get banned with your hard R. Well, now that you got a small taste of who Bruce is online, we can dive into the Kai Bruce situation. See, Bruce and Kai and your rage, another streamer, became an unofficial group, DYK. DYK is just their streamer initials. D for drop him off. It wrong clip. D for drop him off. Y for your rage. He was throwing them over a bag, wasn't it? Hold on, bro, what you want, guy? Specials. D for drop him off. It. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> it's crazy. Dude, I'm talking about he make the face with this to the man thing. Y'all gotta chill, man. Hey. D for drop him off, Y for your rage, and K for Kaizenat. They used their weekly streaming event called Boys Night, where they brought their audiences together every weekend and streamed games in IRL. It was a moment for sure. Short lived, because it suddenly stopped being a thing, and fans weren't having it. Part of it was busy schedules from Kai and your rage, and mostly Bruce not streaming. The community was begging for DYK streams since it's been a minute, and Bruce basically said he isn't really friends with Rage and Kai, and that they don't message him outside of streaming at all. Bruce was mainly talking about Kai. Kai, since he claimed that Kai only calls and texts for content. I'm good. I can say that because I'm straight. At the end of the day, what this all for, chat? Money. I don't give a f y'all niggas think I'm laying. That's y'all internet perception of me. Y'all the niggas know me in real life, bro. I can talk real because I ain't got to hide. These is scripted and hide is. It's what it is, bro. It's just, bro. 
it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just miscommunication. Kai doesn't mean to, Kai is being normal in his head, and, and Bruce isn't like rock with, Like it's just miscommunication. I feel like, bro, because I, I don't think Kai has Kai don't have no bad intentions, and Bruce don't have no bad intentions, and he's getting the wrong vibe, I guess. How can you change the how we talk? I mean, or or think? How can you say the way you think, bro? Be think that. If he think that and he held that in so long and didn't tell me, bro, then it is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I, I, if he, if that's how you feel. That's how you feel, bro. Yeah, I, here's my thing. With a, with a, with so the if they say, if they saying Bruce felt some type of way, they only got five minutes. If they saying Bruce felt some type of way because Kyle was like doing so much other stuff that they can hear the boys not on screen yeah. or like. This sound like he didn't. He was, I guess, feeling like they just ain't mess with him. Yeah, cause they besides both besides of the cunt, like besides cunt, like the only time you hit me, basically like you can't hit be a real homeboy if cause like, you only hit me up to do content. Content, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, you ain't hit like, me up. I mean, hey. I mean, both of them do be busy outside. I mean, I don't know. I mean, they are YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I'm, see, I'm on the outside leaning, so I don't know. Y'all ain't like us. You know, bro. I did. I did. I had a vision for it. That's why I went. Through. I thought it was motivational when we together. We had our strongest. It was biggest. You know how much people watch them, bro. Them shit is amazing. Every time we do it, it's a movie. The audience love it. That's why I push for it. But if that's how they do that's how they do it. It's cool, bro. Fast forward some months, Bruce signs to kick on May 2023. Kai congratulated him, but later only to be met with trolling by Bruce and Aiden Ross. Remember what I said earlier about not talking about Aiden until we got to this part? Yeah. This is the part. The trolling was likely because of Kai not joining Kick with them. So the instigator that Aiden is asked Kai how many genders there are when Kai was streaming. Aiden continued to troll and Bruce decides to hop on the train and post this image. This image refers to Kai basically getting on his knees and helping the Twitch CEO make money. Damn, oh. bro. Nah, that was Aiden. That was Aiden? Oh, no, nah, that was Bruce. My bad. I thought they were Aiden and D. That would have been super whoa. I would have really been. No, <laughs> <all> right, <laughs> but damn, bro, I ain't gonna lie. See, when, when they get to this point, bro, I don't even think I could mm -hmm. ever, you know what I'm saying, get back that cool with nobody for real. Because it's like you, you like. You're doing too much. That's getting, that's getting too far, but you don't know. Nah. This image refers to Kai basically getting on his knees and helping the Twitch CEO make money. On the internet right now in front of 70,000, bro. Like, bro, y'all is my friends, bro. Like, what is y'all doing? Y'all coking right now. Y'all coking, bro. Y'all gotta chill, bro. Y'all niggas my friends. Just stop trying to, like, bro, come on, bro, like. This would all be brushed to the side and they would all move along. Not the same relationship as before, but they moved on. But months after, these DM threads from Bruce leaked. Wait, Damn! What are you yachty for? <sighs> who who leaking this? Who is this? Who saying this? This. Yeah, okay, I want to talk about that. <laughs> of course, chat. By the way, of course, chat. It first leaked in AR Loyals, my community. How do y'all like first get everything? Bro, how do y'all get everything first? These private messages included crazy remarks directed against Kai, your rage, and even Lil Yachty. You feel me? You're Drake's little bro. Uh, I actually got a crazy ass screenshot of this nigga brought in Drake, which was, I had the screenshot. It was the most craziest screenshot I caught on this story. He was looking at this on stage, and it was just like on some, oh my god, like, only... I look up to go. The internet was fast to pick up on these messages and the situation quickly went left. We don't gotta be cool. We don't gotta be friends. I don't I don't want that. You don't gotta communicate with me. You don't gotta say nothing to me, bro. You feel me? And just for once, see, look at your community and, and not even if you if you're not gonna apologize to nobody, apologize to them. Please, them deserve it, bro. Apologize to your community. Them literally ride or die for you no matter what. And for you to to do some sh like that, I, I'm good off that. I'm good off that. Let me tell y'all something, chat. This is good at like, I don't want to call him a manipulator, but he's good at manipulating. You know what I'm saying? I know Bruce got his issues with whoever he got his issues with. You know what I'm saying? But why the f What a &P did the bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas ain't do nothing to bro. I ain't like that comment. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't like that comment. Correct me if I'm wrong. I live by that. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I would love to be right. So if I am wrong, just correct me if I'm wrong. That's all it is. It's like this. 
that comment that Bruce had made on the A and P little thing right there, it, it almost insinuated that we scam our fans. We scam the supporters. Damn, son. That's what it it, it it looked like to me. It almost looked like you saying like A and P scams scams they they Damn, are supporters. Son. I ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? I seen that. I ain't like that. Cause we ain't never did no shit like that. Damn, I don't know what to say. <laughs> ain't no cap. I don't know what to say, bro. I'm dead ass at a loss for words, bro. Matter of fact, I do know what to say, bro. The only thing you can do, bro, <laughs> is say, yeah, I said it. <laughs> I said it, that's how I felt at the time. Bruce, you ain't got no choice but to stand on business, bro. Don't, bro, uh, whenever you stream, don't get on here saying I'm sorry. Don't get on here saying I can look like you only gonna be sorry because you got caught. And me, I'm telling you, I don't take back any of the things that I said. Me personally. And that's not me being an asshole. That's not me trying to be boastful. That's just me being a grown ass man. I said those things. I say those I said some of those things to those people off of the internet. So it's it's no different. To be honest with you, I don't expect y'all to view me as don't view me as an idol. Don't view me as nothing other than who I am, which is Bruce. The aftermath of this caused Bruce to lose subscribers on his Bruce Drop Em Off Live channel. In fact, both channels have seen a drop off in subscribers. No pun intended. Most of the streamer community has cut him off and is the NBA young boy of the streamer community since they are both blackballed in a way. Don't quote me on that. As of the time of this recording, none has talked to each other and Kai made it clear that he cut him off for good. And I, I know somewhere in your heart you want to forgive the nigga, bro. Absolutely not! Just if you do forgive him, bro, <laughs> what? <laughs> Keep him at a distance. Oh no, I said nothing. In the fast-paced world of live streaming, drama often takes center stage. Kaisenet's involvement in multiple beefs reveals the tangled web of online personas. It's a vivid reminder. Fame and content creation doesn't guarantee stable relationships. Misunderstandings snowball fast. These clashes aren't just entertainment. They're a lesson. They emphasize the importance of respect in this fast-paced world. They're a caution sign for everyone. Being famous is unpredictable, but one thing that's for certain is that real connections matter more. Yeah, it's true. I ain't gonna need no life, bro. I ain't, I ain't know it was that deep with yeah, them, bro. Me neither. I ain't no Bruce, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all have to give us the backstory. I'm gonna have to look into it because I never knew it was it was that deep. But I'm just being real. But like we always say, bro, when you get to a certain level of fame and success, bro, it's always gonna be, be oh, some yeah, BS that okay. come with it. No yeah. matter if you started or somebody else started or it was some misunderstanding, it's just, it, I don't know how to say this word. It's inevitable. I think I said it right. Mm -hmm. It's inevitable. Like, it's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? But that is what it is. But, but all that being said, but it's a great video, you know what I'm saying? But my guy name is Official Runny. Good, good video. Uh, shout out to you. But if y'all like the video, give it a thumbs up. If y'all like the video, don't forget to subscribe. It's your boy, the boy crazy. And we out.